All right. As we discussed earlier, we are talking uh, about the Young Entrepreneurs Academy, or YAY, as it's called. Daniel Majak is Operations Director at Parkley Pharmacy, and YAY graduate Courtney Martin are here uh, to talk all about um, the, the wonderful partnership that, that Parkley has with Young Entrepreneurs Academy. We've met several students, uh, actually one student, who they have a product that is on store shelves right now mm -hmm. at the store at Parkley Pharmacy. Yes. Um, that's a wonderful outcome, isn't it, for oh. any young entrepreneur to have their product featured on a store shelf, right? Incredible. Absolutely yeah. incredible. Yeah, we're really happy to have them there. Yeah, so what was that, that process of collaboration like? Well, basically, I was invited by uh, the Young Entrepreneurs Academy to be on the investors panel, which is kind of a, a version of Shark Tank, really. Sure. And we all get together, and we decide who we're going to invest in, and then I get the added honor of being able to choose three young entrepreneurs to sell in the store that I think will have a product that will be suitable to our business and then they get an idea of what working in retail is really like and you know establishing their costs and their wholesales and things like you're that. You're a nice guy Daniel but are you cutthroat when it comes how do you decide <laughs> uh, I mean come on how, the, some of these ideas are great how some do you of the decide? Ideas, well th the ideas are great from all of them without a doubt but some of them are come up with ideas for services right. you know in spas and things like that so they're not really things that we okay. can sell in a, in a retail environment mm -hmm. so even though they're great and you know you appreciate all their ideas and all their their energy that they put forth it's not really the right choice for us so I can't I don't really have the opportunity to highlight everyone though they're all incredibly talented kids so which products did you end up putting on the shelves and how have they been selling well we started um, originally with a young lady who did a little uh, necklace that hold that held um, perfume yeah. so that you didn't have to take a whole travel bottle with you you could just have, have that in there so we started with her a couple of years ago we've since um, highlighted a, a young lady named Madeline she did some uh, some bows that were hair bows that were made out of duct tape we got the oh. work, opportunity to work with her and then we had um, Chad Bingo's Got to Go buttons, which he trained a dog how to, you know, push a button to go outside. <laughs> and we awesome. sold those all winter long. And then this year we chose um, Riley Benner and, Lu and his partner Luke. Their business is Phoenix Haberdashery, and they were the young guys that came up with the idea of reversible men's ties. And, and do you advertise it like, hey, this is a yay product or anything like that, or does it just blend right in with the other products? Oh, no, and they got so much press from all the news and everything. It was a really exciting competition this year that they came from, you know, McQuaid Jesuit High School and went right. all the way to nationals in, in D.C. and won. Uh, no, we, we display signage that says that they're part of Yay, and we try to direct as many customers as we can to them because it's just such a fantastic product, and the kids are so awesome. Yeah. You are a, a sort of an example uh, of how businesses can get involved in this, but you're really putting a call out to other businesses to so look, invest in these young people. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the greatest minds can come from our very own community. You don't want those kids going elsewhere right. if they don't have to. Exactly. Exactly, and I think that um, other business owners and entrepreneurs in this area from all different types of businesses have a lot to be able to share with these kids on developing an idea, getting the funding for it, taking it you know, all the way through from A to Z, mm -hmm. don't you think? I mean, we're retail, so we're good for products that are actually going to be sold, but there are many, many businesses out there that could be mentoring these kids and mm -hmm. helping them along. Yeah, and Courtney, from your perspective, as an ambassador of Yay, how's the partnership worked out between Yay and... Parkley. It's been absolutely wonderful. He provides every year, like I said, shelf space for the students to get their products out there. And there are a lot of different ways, as Daniel was saying, that business leaders can get involved. They could be the Mark Cuban of our investor panel event. They could be the head of a table at our CEO roundtable event. They can work alongside students as a business mentor. They could be a guest speaker that comes into the class that talks to the students about their business and what they do and how that coincides with the business lesson that they're learning this week. So anyone who is interested in getting involved, just like Daniel, they can contact us at info at yausa.org or they can call our headquarters at 585-272-3535. All right, and Daniel, my question, I'm wondering how well has it been selling? What type of feedback have you been getting from customers? Because look, it takes space and space is money oh, when space it comes is to absolutely. a place like Parkley where you try to pack everything in. Well, it's, re it's really interesting with, with Phoenix Haberdashery and, and Riley because he was insistent that he would not get his product into our store until his, he was ready for his launch. I wanted him in, the, in there a month or two earlier and he just held back and said, no, I can't do it. This is when we're going to be. And he was actually able to slide into home plate the day before Father's Day and he came in with 50 ties and he sold 50 ties in one day. 
we don't sell 50 of anything in a day other than like greeting cards. I mean, it was incredible. There was a line through the place. The place was swarming with just excitement. So we give them the space. We sold out the ties. They said, this is the space you get. Let's bring them in again and see what you've got. That's and fantastic. We're selling them, you know, very regularly right now. I He's love just, it. Yeah, you know. That's what a impressive. great story. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. People really, really want, are invested in the community and in him as a young entrepreneur and he is dead serious on getting this business going I'm very proud of it that's by local uh, that you know the by local campaign oh, absolutely. To, to the nth degree I mean that's really what it is and, so. he, and he created jobs for for refugees here in town that he's now got on on, on payroll that are actually paid you know that's how it starts legal employees in the state of New York he's you know it, it's almost you don't want to laugh because you just you don't see this very often right. right and what's great is the products that you have placed in your store they seem very Park Lee-esque yes they were kind of almost tailored yeah, to the Yeah, because there's a Parkley thing. There's a Parkley... The, there's, the, Parkley in and of itself is a, is a wonderful yeah. place to go and visit. But when you go into the store, there's just certain things that just... They say Parkley. They just... Right. We've you, always, you, you we've would imagine always, it would be sold there. Always just tried to do, you know, the unexpected with a product that you've seen a million times. Yeah. But then all of a sudden in it a shows up in our way. store and it's just a different presentation. I love a different it. twist on it. And, you know, Janine Klee, the owner of Parkley, she's just been a brilliant buyer yeah. of the store for years. And... She really has a way of looking for it, and I've kind of, under her tutelage, I've kind of picked up a knack for when you see something It is. Cool. It's a fun place, people. And, Courtney, thank you so very thank much. You. We appreciate it. Appreciate it. Hey, coming up, Hannah Welker. She rejoins us live from St. John Fisher College. Bill's training camp underway. Just moments ago, yeah, started at uh, 8, Steelers, 10 right now. Started 10 minutes ago. The Pittsburgh Steelers fan at Bill's camp, yeah. <laughs> Your guests are yeah. not going to let you this You want to see go. how that turns out? Stay tuned. <laughs>